I have lived my life on Mars time four times for four different rovers. The Martian day is approximately 40 minutes longer than an Earth day. So if I'm supposed to go into work when it's 5.30 where the rover is, then I need to come into work on the Earth 40 minutes later every day, 8 a.m. one day, and then 8.40, and then 9.20, and then 10, and it continues this way. And we usually stay on Mars time for about three months. So we are simultaneously very tired and having a blast. 600 people in the same building and running around and looking at pictures of Mars and everybody's talking. You know, we knew where all the all night diners were and we would go to the beach because there was no one on the beach at two in the morning. You end up celebrating with the Martians. None of this was deliberate. None of us thought that we would separate, but you gradually start referring to everyone else as the Earthlings because you are in truly your own environment. In some ways, the impact on your, on your families are, can be even greater. Every time we're getting ready to land, then we prepare for Mars time. And my husband will say, we're getting ready for Mars time. And he puts up you know, foil on all the windows to darken the house as much as possible. You don't wanna have any earth sunlight coming in because then your body is like, oh, it's morning. And you're trying to say, no, no, not on Mars. It's not like you know, daycare rotates on Mars time. It's not like grocery stores are open on Mars time. Sometimes I would get these kind of plaintive emails from my husband. Can I come home? What time is it, right? Will I disturb you? Because he was trying to conduct his life without having no idea when I was gonna be awake or when I was gonna be asleep. And when you come off of Mars time, it's literally like you've been away for three months. You gather with your friends and go, so what's been happening on the earth for three months? And I've always taken from those experiences a sense of what it's going to be like when we really are sending astronauts to Mars. I can just imagine what it's gonna be like for the crew of a ship going to Mars as the time stretches out between them and the earth and how they really are going to feel separate.